Hey everyone, it's been another beautiful week since we last met. Have you been able to follow how we are learning about the Bible together? That's right. We are traveling through the Bible story. We learned about Jesus' birth, life, death, and resurrection. The last couple weeks, we've learned about the disciples and how Jesus said goodbye to them. Today, we're going to learn to jump ahead a little bit. Jesus is gone, went back to heaven, and the followers of Jesus have received the Holy Spirit, well, which is God, with them. And with them, they can do the really important job of telling others about the love of Jesus and how that news will make all things new again one day. They are getting to tell everyone of God's kingdom and how every one of us gets to do big things, well, and small things, that make this world look a little bit more like God wanted it to. Whew! Wow! That was a lot of things to say. But, do you understand? Maybe a little? Well, when those first believers of Jesus went out and started telling others about the good kingdom of God, well, they kind of reacted like they reacted when Jesus was there. Some of them, well, maybe even a lot of them, got mad. Why do you think they got angry? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Those are really great answers. Do you know, I think there were probably lots of reasons, but one big reason is that some people had power and like being in a place to tell others how to live and worship God. And the message of Jesus' kingdom didn't work with that. Jesus imagined a kingdom of loving one another, where all people who believe share equally and can come to God without any special training, learning, or job. That really turned over the world. And you know, it kind of still does. Jesus' kingdom is really great, but it's really hard for people because it means loving others even when it means giving up self. Not losing yourself, but being so loving that you stop what you want for you and give to others. Well, today we learn of someone who hated the message of Jesus. But do you know what God loved him so much he was going to do something incredible? Are you ready to find out? Okay, here we go. Today's story is from Acts 9, 1 to 19. At the time when the disciples were telling people about Jesus, Saul was trying to arrest and hurt the disciples. He was even ready to kill them. He went to the leaders who were priests, and he got permission to go to the village of Damascus so that if he found anyone there belonging to the way of Jesus, whether it was a man or a woman, he could arrest them and bring them to Jerusalem. So Saul left right away, and when he got near Damascus, he was suddenly hit by a blinding flash of light. As he fell to the ground, he heard a voice, Saul, Saul, why are you out to hurt me? Saul said, who are you, master? The voice said, I am Jesus, the one you're angry at. I want you to get up and enter the city. In the city, you'll be told what to do next. The people Saul went with to arrest the disciples stood there, really confused. They could hear the sound of the wind, but they couldn't see anyone. While Saul, picking himself up off the ground, found himself blind. He couldn't see. They had to take him by the hand and lead him into the city of Damascus. He was blind for three days. He ate nothing, drank nothing. He was praying and fasting, trying to learn from God what he should do. Well, there was a disciple in Damascus by the name of Ananias. Jesus spoke to him in a vision. Ananias! Yes, Jesus, he answered. Get up. I want you to go where I will show you. 
Ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus. His name is Saul. He is there praying. He has just had a dream in which he saw a man named Saul enter the house and heal him so he could see again. Ananias didn't like this at all. Jesus, you can't be serious. Everybody's talking about this man and the terrible things he's been doing against your people in Jerusalem. And now he's shown up here with papers from the leaders of the priest that give him permission to do the same to us. But Jesus said, Don't argue. Go. I have picked him as my disciple to go tell non-Jews and kings and Jews all about me. And he will also learn about the hard sacrifice that a life like that will be. So Ananias went and found the house, placed his hands on blind Saul, and said, Brother Saul, Jesus sent me, the same Jesus you saw on your way here. He sent me so you could see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. No sooner were the words out of his mouth than something fell off of Saul's eyes. He could see again. He got to his feet, was baptized, and sat down with them to a big meal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow! What an incredible story! The love of Jesus is so big and strong that even his enemies can be made new. I bet we will learn a lot more about Saul. Psst, spoiler alert, he gets a new name. You might know it. Do you? Yeah, that's right. It's Paul. Paul did a lot of amazing things for Jesus. And to help, he started building the kingdom of God here on earth over 2,000 years ago. He is like a great, 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 great grandpa of the church or something. And, you know, if God can use Paul, who used to hurt people who love Jesus, well, I think maybe God can use me. And, if Jesus didn't give up on Saul when Saul would have hurt people who love Jesus, well, I know Jesus can love me and wants to forgive me too. I love how kind and patient Jesus is. I hope this week you know that Jesus loves you and his forgiveness and love is as big as anything you can imagine and that Jesus never gives up looking for you. Let's pray together, okay? Bow our heads, close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love that is so big that you go after people like Saul and won't stop until he knows you and loves you. Help us to be people of your kingdom, to love others, even if it means giving up something I want so that others can have something that helps them live a great and wonderful life with you. Help us have a good day, good week. In your name, amen. Well, I hope you have a good week too, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.